Hi YouTube and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna test out one of the best machines that Beatmain have ever made in my opinion. This is the Beatmain L3 Plus. This is a script miner that's capable of 504 mega hashes and that's a ton for script type of cryptocurrency. It can mine Litecoin and other coins and we can use it with nice hash. We can go to a pool just like ant pool or other pools out there that supports Litecoin and it only consumes 800 watts that's amazing. So the L3 is not that heavy, but uh, it does have some weight to it. It weights maybe about 10 pounds, I would say. Before we start this video, I want to thank HDAC for having a good choice and sponsoring this video. HDAC is a new coin and innovative technology in blockchain and smart contracts. It's backed by Hyundai and it has multiple features like online payments and business payments for large business. They improve the current blockchain technology to perfection to create one of the best ICOs I've seen so far. And in a few days, they're gonna start their ICO. Also, don't forget to read their white paper. One of the main features of HTAC that I like is their eco-friendly and fair mining service that improves the current mining process and makes it a lot more efficient and a lot more focused on security and efficiency and just a better payment service. So check out hdac.io, which is hdac.io. The next step is to power up with the power supply. For the setup for the Antminer L3 Plus, you can use the EVGA 1600 watt power supply, or you can also use the APW3++, which you can also power up with this L3. Don't forget if you have 110 volts or 220 volts, you have to make sure you get the correct power supply but definitely 220 volts has a better efficiency when it comes to converting it to 12 volts. So the first step was plug in all the power plugs. So I had to power up four different boards. So unlike the other D3s and the uh, Antminer S9, this one has four boards. There's two power cables for each board, totaling nine cables. After that, you have to plug in the network cable, of course. Don't forget to also plug in a jumper for the power supply, so the power supply will stay on. Okay, it's plugged in, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and test it. First, before I show you the numbers, let's check out some of the of the noise. So it's pretty, pretty noisy, as you can hear. It's pretty loud, 80 to 85 decimals. Too much for a room, definitely. Too much to put it in your house. It might need to be in the garage or in some sort of a dedicated location where a warehouse of some sort. Temperatures are pretty smooth. It's actually one of the coolest ant miners I've seen so far. The exhaust only putting out about 105 degrees and the outside temperature is absolutely cold. So they really did a good job insulating this machine and getting rid of all the heat out in one direction. So the next step is to find the IP address for this device. So you have to go into a port finder or IP scanner to find that IP address. Once you find that IP address, you put it into any browser and it's gonna ask you for username and password. Antminer's username and password that by default is root and root. Root is the username, root is the password. And from there, you'll be able to click on minor status and also you can click on minor configuration to make sure everything works. In the minor configuration, you'll be able to change the address, the username and the password for the correct pool. So now if we test out ant pool, as you can see here, you have to put the exact ant pool URL address and use your worker ID. The password doesn't really matter. I usually put X or one, two, three. The next step will be to wait and the machine will start itself. And, and after about 10 minutes, you'll be able to see some results on the ant miner page itself and you'll be able to see how much you're mining. So it mines about 503 mega hashes, 504 mega hashes. So it is the advertised speed and it's only putting out 800 watts. That's very, very low for this kind of miner. So it will heat up a room much less than a regular ant miner. You can find an easier solution for heat and to get rid of the heat out of uh, the location you're in, it will be easier with this kind of machine. Now let's check out the profitability. Like always, I use the profitability calculator for mining. And as you can see, when you look at, at Litecoin, it takes about 800 watts and 20 cents per kilowatt. That's what we pay in California. Make sure to put your own number. It's whatever you pay in your location per kilowatt hours. As you can see, we make about $10 a day profit after calculating even the electricity price. But this machine also supports NiceHash, which is awesome. That means that I can mine on NiceHash script and NiceHash will choose for me which script to mine at a time. So let's check out how, what's the calculation on NiceHash for the profit. So as you can see, the machine makes $20 a day per machine, only taking 800 watts, and the profit is about $16 per day. So the profit is about $16 per day, and per month, that's a profit of $650. That's awesome. So this machine will profit you $650 per month 
running it 24 7 after paying for all the electricity now if you have a cheaper electricity you might make 700 or even more than that per month per machine so it's definitely a better choice to mine with nice hash because litecoin doesn't make you as much money as mining it on all the scripts possible so NiceHash will choose the best script for you. So I do recommend using NiceHash for this specific machine. You can make up to 70% more profit. That's tons. So now the main question is where can you buy it? So the main place to buy it is to buy it directly from bitmain.com but a lot of times it's out of stock. A lot of times you have to wait months for it to arrive. So maybe eBay and Amazon might be a better solution for you. You should check out both. I will leave some links below so you can find the best place for you to get one if you want to. Now EVGA Power Supply, you can get that on Amazon.com. They're always available, always easy to find it. And uh, all the cables are included. So all you need is the power supply that you can buy anywhere pretty much. And the Altminer L3. Now this is the most profitable machine so far that I have encountered. I love this machine. I recommend it a lot. Uh, now prices might change so this so make sure you know and make sure you check because oh, if all the script coins will go down in price This machine will be worth less and will make you less because those numbers change all the time So you have to check. Thank you so much guys for watching Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video Leave a comment on what you think about the L3 and how long you think it will stay profitable. See you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye